Oh, matey, how'd you like your new quarters? Who are you? Where are you taking me? On a nice cruise. Travel broadens the mind, don't you agree? Do you work for the Bird Brothers? The Bird Brothers are no longer a problem. They were even quite, shall we say, cooperative. My boss wants the other one. Where is it? Sorry, gentlemen. Can't help you. <sighs> Did you search him? Yep. Tintin. Press card and that's it. No scroll. Hmm. Shall we chuck him overboard? Okay, genius. I'll let you explain that one to the boss. Lieutenant! Not now. You need it. It's the captain. He's, uh... <sighs> what, again? He's gone off the deep end. <sighs> All right, I'm coming. If I were you, I'd start talking now, before we make port. This heat's insufferable. Let's try it. 
this direction. to get my hands on Alan's scroll. These scrolls have got to mean something. Just a few 
few days on this tub and I'm almost ready to jump ship. You remember when we first met? That time in prison? Taken more beatings than you've handed out, eh? <laughs> We've got the scroll. Mission accomplished. these pistons.
have to stop these gears.
billion. Ah! Could you please keep what? quiet, all right? What? It's okay. Everything's fine. Who are you? Uh, me? No one. Don't mind me. I'm already gone. Were you talking to someone, Captain? Uh, uh, no one. So, Captain, what's all this fuss Alan, about, then? I'm sick of being holed up in here. What's wrong? You got a nice cabin? I'm hauled up in the hold. And what I want is my boat back. My boat. I don't think that's a good idea. But I'm the captain. Sure you are. But you know full well. What? Your family has never been very good with ships. Ugh. And we know why. Oh, the curse. Precisely. Listen, the ship's in good hands with me, but you'll get it back soon. I just need the helm for this little operation. Uh, listen, I was just saying to Tim... Me? I was telling Tim that we need you. Huh? There you go. Red is for longitude, blue for latitude. Crayons! Be a sport and calculate our heading for the next two hours, eh? You think I'm a fool? Scoundrel! Imposter! Have fun now. I've got a passenger to deal with. What sort of passenger? An unwelcome one. Remember, red for latitude, blue for longitude. But you said the opposite, Chief. <sighs> Go make a plank, then walk it. <sighs> Who was that? Was it Alan? Where was he going? Um, up top. To the wheelhouse. <laughs> In the control room. Is oh. it true that you're the captain of this ship? Let's go! Yes! Ooh. 
find that parasite. We can't have gotten very far. Taken more beatings than you've handed out, eh? A bit nippy out tonight.
Three brothers joined. Three unicorns in company. Why did you decide to stick your nose in my affairs? You're the ones who forced me to come along. Uh, well, if you give me your scroll, you can get off my ship at the next port. You're lying, and this is not your ship. Ah, oh, so you met Haddock. Well, he isn't the captain anymore. He's what you might call a shipwreck. Haddock? The captain's name is Haddock? Ah! Come and fight! Stop squirming! You expect me to hold still? Stop right where you are! You already know far too much. Hands where we can see them. Drop your weapon, Alan. Man to man. Man to pipsqueak, more like. Give me your staff. This has got to end now. I know you're there. Turn yourself in, Alan! And if I don't... Uh, ah, hands where we can see them! Quick running, kid! Out of breath, old man! Stop right where you are! What about you? Who do you work for? The little 20th! You'll find it on all good newsstands! It's not over! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop right where you are! Ah, you're gonna end up a shark bite! And you will read about my adventures in prison! He got what was coming to him! Second scroll. That's the scroll he stole from the Bird Brothers. I think I'll keep that. Might be useful. And now I'm going to put things straight with that Captain Haddock. If there's some link between him and Sir Francis Haddock, there's a high chance he can help us. Three brothers. We know that there are three scrolls. Mine, the Bird Brothers. Let's think, Snowy. I don't know who Alan works for, but I'm willing to bet he's got the third scroll. Captain, are you the descendant of Sir Francis Haddock? Captain of the triple-masted unicorn under King Charles II? Hmm? Who are you again? My name is Tintin. I'm a reporter. I have in my possession two scrolls handwritten by the very same Sir Francis Haddock. I'm in search of treasure. The long lost treasure of the unicorn. That's enough! I don't want to talk about all that! Alan! Alan is a bandit. He's double crossed you so he can take command of your ship. And you know it. I'm going to have you put in irons! Oh! oh, oh, oh. oh. Captain, I can help you as much as you can help me. Just tell me what you know. It is the year 1676. The Unicorn, a valiant ship of King Charles II's fleet, has left Barbados in the West Indies and set sail for Europe. 
The captain is indeed my ancestor, Sir Francis Haddock, to my great misfortune. Two days at sea, a good stiff breeze, and the unicorn is reaching on the starboard tack. Suddenly, there's a hail aloft from the crow's nest. Sail on the port bow! <sighs> the Jolly Roger. Pirates. Worse. Red Rackham. The wind's in their favour. We've got to outsail them. She's over Man the poop. Stand by to haul to the wind. Then... We shall fight. Gunners, to your stations! Fire! We put a hole through our jib! But it wasn't enough. Prepare to be boarded! They're swarming over the side! No quarter! Who is that, Captain? The devil. I wish it were, Mr. Legenek. I wish it were. Come <laughs> on. 
Right now. Just off my blade. Stop. You... your own ship to pieces blistering barnacles what have i done we have to get out of here now hurry <sighs> my ship what have i done this way sailor save yourself Here this instant. The water's rising. Leave me, I said. Come on! Get out of here! 
Leave me alone! Ah. Cursed! Like all the haddocks! Captain! Huh? What's that? Just have to get out of here alone. 